Hello, mother people. If you click this video, you're curious what the hell, Joe, you bought a bike and a SUV, a car and a motorcycle on the same day. Yes, I did. Do I have a story for you? So this was unintentional. It kind of happened. My heart's still racing because the time is now 7 p.m. And I've been on an adrenaline rush since six in the morning. And a lot of the times, things get crazy when you least expect it. But real quick, I gotta show you something really crazy. Whoa, what the hell is this? What is this? You can't get stressed sleeping here, dude. No, it's my old tatami room and I gave it to Darian. He's really gonna hook this up. Um, his cousin Mickey's sleeping there right now, but it's gonna be sectioned off just like you saw in my office. If you haven't seen my video of me moving out of my downtown office, it's done. That's the number one reason why you gotta stay tuned to my channel because you get the live updates here. But if you haven't seen it, go watch the video. So first of all, you guys remember, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted this right here. Hey Josh, man, I think uh, your jacket and gloves and everything's fro it's rock solid frozen dude what the your whole bike is frozen dude frozen i felt bad for his bike we thawed it out the bike is finally defrosted And that woke me up in a way that I never been woken up in a long, long time. And I posted this. And you guys were like, yeah, dude, go get a bike, go achieve your childhood dreams. And guess what? Since that moment, about a month ago, I've been looking every single day for a Honda Rebel 500. Luckily, Darian found one for me and he scheduled a day for me and I said, let's go check it out. So we decided to go get it. Now here is where the Land Cruiser fits into this whole entire story. You might be wondering why, why get it on the same day? You could have scheduled one day for the Land Cruiser and one day for like the motorcycle. Obviously that is a good idea, but I saw a killer deal that I absolutely couldn't let go. Here's the thing. When you find something amazing, you got to get it right then and there or else someone's gonna come and take it away from you. And that's what almost happened, but we'll get to that. I'm only one person. So what I was going to do is I was gonna go get the bike by myself, Uber there, and then bring it back. But here's the thing. I've been riding motorcycles since I was like 13, on and off, but like maybe once every year or two, right? Like I learned on a little dirt bike. Darren here, I trust him because he is a Cambodian jungle man. And Cambodian jungle men, they can ride motorcycles barefoot in a pair of shorts, shirtless, like Mowgli. I trust him riding naked on a bike than I do with a full set of armor. So we go down, it's about an hour away. And then basically Darian was supposed to fly out to Arizona today. And he was like, yo, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna help you ride. He actually broke the deal for me. The guy was like, I only rode it like once last year. It was less than 800 miles. It's a 2018 and it was really, really well priced. And I was like, what? How can you give it away for this price? So we were like, there's gotta be something up with it. We decided to go check it out this morning. Everything checked out amazing. I'm gonna do a whole entire review on this because I just can't wait. I'm gonna get some crazy shots. Here's some photos, check it out. Like it? <laughs> Riding my bike. All right, so Darian's waiting for me. Um, I just rolled this in really quick and has no idea. And I'm gonna show him this. And um, he doesn't know that I'm also getting a car, so. <laughs> hey, Ant! Ant, come outside! Yo! Let's go see Uncle Joe! Let's go see Uncle Joe! Oh! <laughs> I got it! I got it. it! It's a Honda Rebel, what? dude! Yeah, look what Uncle Joe bought yeah. you! Yeah! What? Dude, she could be right here! That's tight, dude! 
<laughs> Actually, I think it fits you. Why don't you sit down? She doesn't want to sit. She's scared. She's scared of it? Damn, this is sick, dude. Yeah. I like oh, it. Oh, hi. Damn, you like like the Wolverine. Wolverine. Oh. Dude, sit on it. I, I bet you okay. look tight on it. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. It fits you, man. Are you going to keep this here? Yeah, can I? <laughs> can we make space for it? Only if I can get one, too. Yeah, well, <laughs> hey. I might, I might be able to get us another one. Oh my God, I gotta tell Christina. Yeah, dude, or three of them. We'll have three of them, and we'll we'll create like a section here or something, and then we'll have like a a family bike set. We'll even get one for like Enzo and Leia too. Can we find one of those things where it has those like a little wagon here for the kids? Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> like a sidecar. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, sick, dude. Can you help me record? I want to do this legit. Yeah. And I want to come in here like. Cool. Like a boss? Yeah. But get this, I'm actually getting another toy today. What do you mean? I gotta show you. I'll, I'll show you in a bit. What? I gotta go get it. Yeah. Darren's waiting for me. Wait. We don't have space for all these toys here. <laughs> yeah. We'll make space. <laughs> we'll make space. It was just so cool. I was like revving it in the driveway. I took it around the block and I was like, oh wait, we gotta go to the bank. Nope, nope, nope. That's not the car that I bought. That's just Darian's dope ass RC. So how does the car tie into all of this? Well, when Darian sent me the link on Craigslist, I was like, let me see if there's any Land Cruisers out there right now. Now, why a Land Cruiser? Let's take it back to 1990 something when I was a tiny little booger. And I would go camping with my family friends and all that. And my dad's buddy had this really cool SUV. It was kind of this sand color. I didn't know what it was. And in the future, I would see it like at the beach and people would put like surfboards on it. I didn't know what kind of car that was. Until later on in life, I was like, oh, that was a Toyota Land Cruiser. The whole time I thought it was a Jeep or some American car because it's built like a tank. And I always wanted to get into overlanding. I wanted to get like some kind of cool, like all four wheel drive, like something really good for off-road. And I wanted something classic and dope. So I was like, what is a good all around vehicle? With COVID now, all this outdoor stuff is super popular. Not only that, these cars are now becoming classics. So they're just gonna go up in value. And so this whole time I just been searching and looking and trying to find the best deal with the best mileage with the best things that i needed all of this like i just want an all-around car that fits me and i made some of these posts and thanks for all of you who helped out when you reached out to me you gave me information and i actually got some friends and connections out of that so i really really appreciate all your dms and so fast forward to that night i was checking out craigslist and i was like oh my god this is the one but I'm scheduling the bike for tomorrow, but I have to get this. It's way underpriced. Why? Is this a con? Is this a scam? What's going on? Is it, this is too good to be true because this should be double the price of what it is. But the problem was it was 11 PM at night. And I told myself, I'm not a rude bitch. I'm not going to call this guy at 11 because like most people aren't staying up till three in the morning. You know what I mean? Like some, most people are just going to sleep and I didn't want to be the dickhead that calls at 11 super excited. Is the car for sale? So I said, let me patiently wait until it was seven in the morning and wake his ass up. He was like, hello. And I was like, hey, uh, do you have the Land Cruiser available? I saw your ad and he was really cool. And he said, hey man, like I'm going to give you first dibs. And I said, yeah, I'm a serious buyer. If all checks out, I'm gonna buy it all cash. And he's like, oh, it will check out. So I was like, all right. And here I am, boom, at first glance. It was beautiful, so just like the pictures shine. he posted. This perfect gray and a hint of blue. You can't find this anywhere. This is like museum quality Land Cruiser. Look at her, she's so beautiful. And here I go, boom. Cash money. Themselves a Land Cruiser. Cash money. Cash. And it was wonderful, but at the same time, you know, he double booked us <laughs> with some other people. Well, I guess they were supposed to come check it out the next day. He even told them that I'm coming, but they were hovering around us like piranhas. And in the middle of him counting my money, they still had the audacity to ask him, do you still want to sell it for more? I'll, I'll, I'll match the price or beat it or whatever. I'm like, 
What kind of fucking dicks are you? Like, he said that the sale is done, right? Yeah, so these other buyers came while we were making a deal. They were just wrapping around the car like vultures. Like, yep. They were thinking in the head, plotting in the head. That, you know, you don't need to take that kind of wraparound, you know, yeah. that amount of time to look at the car. The car speaks for itself. But they were plotting, how can we get this guy? Yeah, you could how tell. How can we buy out of the, these guys out? Yep. That's what they were plotting, yeah. Yeah, you could tell. They were really so in their car. They, they do look like the kind of people with money too. But, yeah. But you can't do that. You can't walk around, hey. No I principle, got, man. Yeah, I got more money than you, I'll buy you out yeah. kind of thing. There was no morale, yeah, it was, so. It did was I, crazy, did I just hear the ice cream truck at 8 p.m. out here? Yeah. What, what kind of children are out here? Remember when we ran after that shit with Josh? <laughs> Morale, oh, came, came from San Diego, yeah. Yeah, they drove all the way from San Diego, but he was good. Um, they were scheduled for the next day. But yeah. Came yeah, but they came earlier because they heard that I was coming. They tried to outbid me, outbeat me. Yeah, you can't beat me, fool. I'm way faster. No buying time. Go. Ask any girl I've been with. The They're like, Joe's so fast. And here's the thing about them, right? Is that he was like, the seller was like, I don't really like these guys because, you know, they tried to pull some trick on me. And I'm like, what kind of trick? And he goes, well, the son called earlier and he tried to book an early time. And then the dad tried to book another time. So they have this big block of time together and they're just pulling some kind of like iffy weird things. He goes, I like you. You were straight up, which I was. I was like, hey, I'm a serious buyer. If everything checks out, I'll buy it today. That's how I do my deals. I don't fucking dick around and try to play some game to just get it a thousand bucks less or whatever. And then when the seller left the car to go get the pink slip and all that, he got stopped by the father and son team. And he was like, I heard him. He was like, look, I already sold it. You saw me. So he was offering him, guess what? $60,000 for the car. I didn't pay nearly as much. I got absolutely super duper quadruple duper very 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 lucky and he was telling me about how it's not about the money like he's a car enthusiast right and what sometimes they care more about where it goes to and what it's being used for and obviously he could have taken that and i know and i knew these guys were actually about to pay that much because you know why when the seller went inside me and darian were sitting in the car they turned around in their range over they pulled up and they said hey i think you guys should sell that to us. And I was like, <laughs> no way, I just bought it. But anyways, but now what's cool is not only did we get an awesome deal, we made a new friend who's just as in love with old school Toyotas as much as we are. But this has been a crazy adventure. I'm just still shaking from all of this today because of the adrenaline of what went down, how we were able to make everything work out. And as soon as I got home, my friends were hell excited for me. I told Bart, I told David. And here's a few clips of my friends checking out the car. All right, so I just texted Ant. I told him to open the gate, come out and wait for me. I can't wait to get his reaction. This is, this is gonna be crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh shoot! Whoa. What do you think? Dude, this is nice. You know what? What? I think we're gonna sell our house and live in a garage so we can start buying <laughs> toys. Jeez! <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I wanted to move in with you guys so I can have more toys. <laughs> I, dude, right now. yeah, I literally just bought this and this and it's ready to go bros like yeah, it's so clean and shiny you know it's partly motivated because you have a forerunner right and since david has one you have one yeah it's time to be a toyota crew wow. you, you trying to go off-road with this yes it's too nice to go off-roading with oh but this is what it's for it's so clean i know but i'm gonna get a vinyl wrap and okay. we're gonna make sure that this paint is this paint is so brand new right here like it's so nice um, you, I can't wait. Are man. you gonna get a vinyl wrap of your face? To put around, <laughs> <man>? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, dude, this is. Oh, I can't believe this. It's so clean. Yeah. Even the seats are so clean. Yeah. These are the tires that I used to have. Oh, four by four. Yep. Damn, this is tight. It's dude. all wheel drive all the time. Oh, this smells like home. Yeah, right? Like... Ooh, it's like grandpa's car, car. everywhere now. <laughs> This is how my grandpa's car used to smell. Yeah, right? It's got that old school feel to it. Yeah. Damn, it even has an Alpine, dude. Yep, remember like, that? Yeah, we used to fix up our import cars. Yep. Go side, ready? That's tight, dude. 
I like how clean the windows are for yeah. being so old, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm not even gonna tint it, dude. I don't think he needs to. Need it's to. so clean. It's so big that back there, you could probably fit like two more people. Well, you can take you can this out like and put a bed in there. Yep. So what are we getting? <laughs> you already got a forerunner. What are you talking about? You <laughs> well, want a classic I'm Japanese? <laughs> well, I don't know. We gotta get some bikes. We gotta get or... a bike first, and then we'll get another car. That's true. Thanks for letting me park it here. Of course, dude. Anytime. Yeah. You're protecting my car. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Pat? What's up? Nice car. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know I had a new car? I think I heard about it. But <laughs> it's it's like a new old car. What are you gonna do with it? You're gonna go like road tripping and stuff? Yeah, and I'm gonna fix it up. And well, it's already pretty nice. It doesn't need much, but yeah. Anyways, yeah. here you go. Cool, thank you. So I got this started for Ooh. Pat real quick and it's already going because he's gonna make some really dope video out of it. So here we go. The kit is available now. I'm super excited to show Bart and Jill right now. They're gonna be like, oh my God, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is so sick. Oh, oh cruiser. I got it today. What year is it? What year is it? It's a 1988, oh, baby. Damn. Look at this. Isn't it cool? Wow. 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 It's what do you so think? Cool. Damn, this thing's clean, dude. It's crazy, Ooh. huh? Yeah, it's clean. What year is it? 1988. Holy I know, right? Yeah, they kept so it in like perfect. mint condition. So minty. If this wow. belongs to Bart, it would have dents everywhere. No, no it wouldn't. Do you like the car, Taika? Yes, wow. Oh, cool, thank you. Here's one of the things that they sold me on is this is actually a brand new paint job and they matched it with the original. This wow. is the original right here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Dude, even the interior doesn't smell like yucky people. Nope. Like cigarettes yeah, yeah, like just the past. It doesn't smell like it. I know, it's so classy. Yeah. You know I had to show my homies this. God, this shit is so fucking clean. <laughs> Look at the paint job on this shit. <laughs> Let me open the Look at that. Wow, this is brand new. I went to every single friend that was close to me to show this off because I'm so excited today. If I could ride the bike and this at the same time, I would. <laughs> it's so smooth. It's not even perfectly clean, yeah. Oh my clean. goodness. Look, you still got the rain spot. Yeah. Look at this. This is so smooth. This is like brand new paint, dude. And this, oh my goodness. Wow, it literally looks like it just drove out of a movie. Yeah, right? I can't believe how good they took care of this. I can't wait to do a full on review. I've been looking for it for like four months. I'm just mind, I'm still mind blown. I've been mind blown since six in the morning. Really high adrenaline rush for me all day long. Sometimes we pay for things that are way more expensive. Like my Jaguar was way more expensive than this, but it didn't bring me this type of enjoyment. And that to me is, it's not really, the money doesn't equal happiness. The thing is, I've been looking for this. It's a classic. There's a lot of meaning behind it. Being able to recreate that again, it's just kind of making me feel like really happy that I can do this with my friends now and go camping as adults. This is, this is crazy. When were you born? <laughs> 1997. Oh my God. This oh. car's almost 10 years older than you. Wow. Damn. And it's only four years younger than me. I'm the, I'm the only one older than the car. You're the only one older than the car. But you look nothing like it, my brother. You act like nothing like it. You, look, you actually act younger than us. We had to take care of your ass when we were in Jersey. <laughs> All right, Mata people. So I'm going to be doing both a really in-depth review with both the Land Cruiser and the Honda Rebel. So I want you to stay tuned for that. And I like to leave off with saying special thank you to all of you who has been watching me, supporting me, checking out all of my videos, and not only that, purchasing all of my products or whatever for all of the years, or if you just started, because I have to give thanks. The reason why I can do fun things like this and live this awesome life for the past 13 years, live my dream, and not only that, do crazy things like this, like buy a bike and a Land Cruiser on the same day, 
um, I never thought that things like this could happen. And so it's still surprising me and I'm very, very grateful for things like that. So I just wanna leave with today's video a big thank you guys because I feel like even though I'm happy with this win, this win could have not ever happened without my audience. So till next time guys, peace. You're so happy, dude.